I went back to Boone. What happened was that in the in the in the summer of '51, I guess, I had been there and taken a course in Old English and Scottish ballads from a teacher who later became uh, the father of Appalachian studies. His name was Cratus Williams. Dear, wonderful man, and what a course! He not only knew the old child ballads, but he knew where what version of them was being sung in the mountains around us, and he could sing them. And you know no guitar or instrument, you just sing them, and they're quite powerful. Uh, so I got involved with that. Then later when I began to write, the two things came together. And I got in the car and I drove seven miles from Boone and I found this little church in a little town called Valley Crucis. And it was an Episcopal church. And I discovered that in the 19th century, the second Episcopal bishop of North Carolina had, had founded uh, a, a kind of a, a, a colony up there. Uh, he had gone up there and found the people in such dire straits um, and bad because after the, the Revolutionary War it was kind of cut off for several generations. And the Appalachian Mountains in the, in the 18th and 19th century is a pretty rough place. So he sent a, uh, he, he, he tried to start a kind of a church up there and it fell apart. And then he found a man who was a mountain man himself and sent him up there and it was very successful, extremely successful. And the mountain people who were living in really dire circumstances, not just poverty, but murder and incest and all sorts of stuff. People in North Carolina don't like to believe that <laughs> incest in the 19th century was perfectly common in the, in the isolated mountains. Uh, adultery was, who cared? Uh, uh, incest was, it, nobody cared about those things. What they cared about was staying alive. Uh, and um, so this, this church really helped all of this, and the people became a community under this guy. Uh, and it was very, very prosperous. And then the Bishop of North Carolina got involved in the Oxford Movement, which was a return in England to Catholicism. And he began to turn things, he, he had some people wear black cassocks, he had them sing prayers to the Virgin, you know, it began to get kind of Catholic up there, and the <laughs> good people in North Carolina didn't like that. And finally the Bishop left America. He got a leave and he went to Rome and he, he, he gave up his bishop's ring to the Pope. At which point the support was cut off for the mission, the Valley Cruces mission. The, the support was going to all fell apart. So I made a novel out of that and then later a play and both are, do pretty well. So that was my first, first, uh, first published work.